These ungrateful swine are looking at me like I'm the enemy. Do you expect them to look happy? We just lost our first battle in years, Ares. A battle we should have won! These fools humiliated their empire today. We caught the thorns off guard and still lost. My king, do I have permission to speak in your presence? Ugh, yes, speak. Thank you, your grace. I must ask, are there any more medicinal supplies for the sick and injured? We're running low and have resorted to stretching our resources thin. Too thin. We... We don't have enough for the number of injured soldiers that returned from tonight's battle. No. We're running low, and we must ration what we have. Please, my king, we don't have enough. We need more painkillers, more herbs for infection. My wife may have a blood infection, and we have nothing to stop it. If you all weren't so poorly prepared for tonight's battle, a battle we've known about for months, maybe you wouldn't be in your current predicament. Ares, we can't accept that. We need more medics, more medicinal supplies. If your soldiers weren't killed in combat, they'll surely die from infection. Be wary of your tone in the presence of the king. I apologize, Fixie. My king, I only wish to raise awareness about our current situation. There is no situation. Everything is fine, and you'll just have to work with the supplies you already have. I will not hear any of this. Does this look fine to you? Name one soldier who didn't return wounded. We need more medics. Your injuries are no one's fault but your own. I've never seen such unprofessionalism, so much disorganization, so much weakness. You have all embarrassed the name of the cursed empire and should be ashamed of how terribly you fought on the battlefield. Your injuries are punishment enough, but if I hear one more word of defiance, I'll make you sore you even thought to open your mouth. Medics don't win wars, soldiers do. group of you need to go south and collect more moss. We may be out of gauze, but moss is plentiful and just as absorbent. Another group needs to travel east. There are many bushels of poppy flowers close to the ravine. Grab as much as you can. Curses know we're going to need painkillers to sleep soundly tonight. Another group must travel north. I remember there used to be oregano and coneflower blooming this time of year. Those can be used for antibiotics for the time being. Ares may be blind to the effort you all put forth today, but I saw it clear as day. I'm proud of all of your determination, especially considering the circumstances. We wouldn't be able to do it without you. He's waking up. Go on, give him some room. Last thing we want to do is scare him by breathing down his neck. Go bring the royals in. I'm sure Lunas and Apollo will want to see him. Hurt me, Jack! Make me! I'll kill her if you don't stop me! 
Mom would be disgusted with who you've become, Vivian. You fought valiantly, Jackson. I saw you taking down those cursed soldiers like it was nothing. I wanted to be the first to tell you that. You should be proud. How are you feeling? I... Is everything all right? Are you in pain? They're in here, my queen. I... Uh, how long have I been out? You've been in and out for over a week. The worst of your recovery is over, though. But you'll have a nasty scar from here on out. Was... It a cursed soldier who did all this to you? Could have been multiple. I saw him fighting. There's no way just one cat could have done this to him. Uh, I have to tell you all something. Dusk, I know you saw me fighting alongside Lunas during the battle. I'm not that strong on my own. What are you talking about? I saw you take down multiple soldiers like it was second nature for you. Of course you could do it by yourself. That's... not what I mean. What do you mean? Jackson. I'm cursed. That's not possible. How? You two know. What's the only way to become cursed? Your Ares son. Vivian and I aren't only refugees, but heirs to the cursed empire. Iris escaped when we were young, hoping to find safety for us here with the Thorns, but that wasn't the case. For any of us, her sacrifice was in vain. My sister and I reunited with Ares almost a year ago. She and I... <sighs> she and I would run off during the night while everyone was asleep to meet with him. He trained us for months so that we'd be suited for whatever he needed us to do. Lunas? Apollo? The night you found me with my eye scar was the night I disbanded from Ares. What caused you to leave? He was hurting people and I was done being a part of it. And it took you... almost a year to realize that. I was never loyal to Ares, if that's what you're implying. I only trained with him to make sure that Vivian wasn't in harm's way. I left the moment I realized that she was far more eager to plan and scheme with Ares than have any connection with me. Jackson, what exactly did she plan with Ares? What did you plan with Ares? Ares gave me orders to assassinate Lunas. When I refused, he gave me this eye scar as punishment, which also gave me the curse. So, that's what you meant by a target over my head. And what were Vivian's orders? Vivian was in charge of assassinating the Queen. She, she is the one who gave me these injuries. She was angry I left her, angry that I got the curse, angry about a lot. Jackson, what about my husband? Was it Ares? It wasn't Ares. It was Vivian. I, I can't even begin to say how sorry I am. I should have- Why didn't you tell me? I... I didn't want to be exiled, Lunas. I didn't want you guys to think I'd abandon you for Ares or, God forbid, my sister. You guys would have killed me if you knew what was happening. No! Why didn't you tell me? Of all people, Jackson!
Unis. No. You don't get to apologize your way out of this one. That is not how this works. It might have worked before, but not this time. This could have been prevented if you would have said something. What would you have wanted me to say? Something! Anything! God, Jackson, after all we've been through, do I really make you feel like you can't come to me about this stuff? Like you can't communicate honestly with me? I thought we were closer than that. God, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Lunas, no. No, no way. I I've always felt safe here with all of you. You were the only one of us who ever really was safe, Jack. I, I promise you, I promise you both, I'll do anything I can to fix this. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. My dad is dead. This isn't something you can fix. I'm your friend. I'll do a better job of proving it. And how exactly would you do that? Because from where I'm standing, I see a traitorous spy who spent his time befriending my children so he can help his father murder my entire family. He's a kid, Hazia. A scared, dumb kid who just confessed everything to a room full of people that have been training to kill cats twice his size. If his goal was to be a threat, he just failed. I don't care, Caroline. What he did is already done. He deserves to rot in a prison cell for the rest of his natural life, only to be cursed by whatever may come after. No lesser punishment could honor my late husband's death. He wasn't the one who killed him, Hazia. You're misconstruing his words. He didn't come to us with the information that could have saved his life. He knew about the assassination plot against my daughter. Against me! He made the choice to not say anything. He may not be the King Slayer, but he's just as guilty in my eyes. My husband is in the ground because of his foolishness. Augustus was Jackson's biggest fan, Hazia. He was so proud of him. One of the last things Augustus asked me was about how Jackson was adjusting. As far as Augustus was concerned, this has always been Jackson's home. We've always been his family. He would have wanted Jackson to know that. He was my brother, Hazia. I miss him too. I, 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 I need to go. <sighs> okay. She'll need some time before she can truly confront how she is feeling. As for all of you, a decision based in grief is never a wise one. You can stay for now, but my authority can't dictate what your future here will look like. Best of luck to all of you. I know you're not evil, Jackson. You just screwed up big time and now you have to live with their father's blood on your paws. I really do hope you'll find a way to reconcile, as much as you can. Jackson, I know what you are deep down. You sacrificed yourself for Apollo and me weeks ago when Vivian was still around. You said you'd give your life to defend us. No traitor would work that hard to convince a pair of fake friends. We'll help you clear your name. We owe you that much. But don't think of this as us letting you off the hook. You're not forgiven. You very well may be the reason for all the unrest washing over the kingdom right now, but you're no traitor. You just made a stupid choice. A stupid, deadly choice. And we all have to deal with it. You're Ares' son, Jackson. That isn't something you'll be able to change but it doesn't define who you are. We all know you have a good heart. Make sure you let that shine through. We 
weren't the closest, but it still feels like a part of me died with him. He... He was the best brother I could ever ask for. He was an amazing parent, an amazing husband, and an incredible king. Og didn't deserve to die, especially not like this. He loved you so much, Carol. He made sure you always knew that. I just... <laughs> I just... I can't believe he's gone. I won't ever get to see him again. I won't ever get to hear his laugh again. He's gone, and I can't do anything about it. It kills me. <laughs> he won't ever truly be gone, Caroline. Every time you think back fondly on the small moments you shared with him, he gets to live again, if only for a brief moment. You may not be able to hear his heartbeat anymore, but you can see it everywhere. His family, his children, they were his heart. He may have passed, but his love will always remain. Rose, I need your help. You're the only one I can turn to. Hesia. Rose, I, I don't even know where to begin. So much has happened today that I I can't even think straight. Oh, Hesia, take a breath. You're safe here. <sighs> I remember when you told me all of those years ago to help Iris. How helping her would help her kids. Rose, I, I don't think we made the right choice. Iris's kids, they were Aries. I know. What? Jackson and Vivian. I knew they were Ares' children. And you didn't think to tell me? Would it have swayed your decision to help them? Our bloodlines do not define who we are, Hesia. Our actions do. Those children were innocent and Iris needed you. Iris is dead, Rose. Her children plotted against me. My husband paid the price. One of her children plotted against you, the other- Jackson was well aware of the murder plot and didn't open his jaws. He's guilty by association, whether he believes it or not. There is more to this than you can even begin to understand, Hesia. The layers to this run deep and span back generations. Believe it or not, Jackson is on the path he was destined to follow. So that's it, huh? My husband had to die to support some overarching generational plan that I couldn't comprehend? The Define plan was and always has been written to take everything good away from me? I'm not saying Augusta's death was supposed to happen. Destiny is volatile, ever-changing. What's supposed to happen one day may change the next. What matters is that the end result stays the same. Jackson's choices were costly, and he hurt your family, I'm not denying that. But the alternative was him siding with his father and killing you all. Why didn't you warn me about any of this? You knew, and you told me nothing. You weren't supposed to know, Hesia. I wasn't supposed to know. That's how all of this works. What I tell you is what Warlock allows. If I tell you the wrong thing, this all falls apart. This is bigger than you, and you know it. But you still told me to help Iris! And didn't tell you about their father. I don't get to pick and choose what I tell you about. I only get to offer guidance when destiny wills it. 
Why doesn't Jackson have your blessing? He may be my great nephew, but he's not from my direct line. I gave my blessing to your mother, Felicity, because I had no children of my own. And with that, the curse line changed. So, he just has Ares's curse? Correct. Jackson willingly came clean, Hesia. His past may be dark and murky, but he's clawed out of it and is willing to do whatever it takes to remedy his wrongdoings. He has the same golden heart as his mother. Some mistakes are graver than others, but if we let our mistakes define us, we'll all be damned. You don't have to forgive him yet. You don't have to forgive him, ever. But you need to allow him space to recompense. Whether you like it or not, this war and the dark curse line are fated to end with Jackson and Vivian. I confidently believe that Jackson will be the one to break the cycle once and for all. Is Vivian cursed as well? No, she's curseless. As long as Maxwell's curse lives and dies with Jackson, and only Jackson, then the era of the Dark Curse will be over forever. I can see clearly now, Rose. Thank you. Before you go, I have information you must bring back. You must let Jackson master his curse. And how would I venture to do that? There is a sacred book tucked away deep within the Warlock's ruins. This book will tell Jackson everything he needs to know about how to dim the fire slowly spreading through his body. He can't distinguish this flame alone, however. I've had my eye on you and your children, Hesia. Apollo and Lunas both seem remarkably close to Jackson. Positive relationships like these are what he needs to find the willpower to fight his curse directly. How can I send them away at a time like this? Their father just died, and you expect me to willingly hand them over to the accomplice to his murder. I know you fear losing them, but if they aren't there to help Jackson fight his demons, you and your kingdom will lose much, much more. How long do I have? This must be done as soon as possible. It isn't safe to leave this curse unattended to. Who knows what it could look like months from now. Go now. Let everyone know. Good luck, Hesia. Hey, how you holding up? Do you remember when we found Jackson in the valley? The night he got that scar? Did anything about him seem off to you? Like, besides literally everything? Okay, okay, sheesh. He was practically in hysterics. I could have sworn he was speaking a whole different language. Makes a lot more sense to me now, knowing that he was... Well, he was cursed. He was cursed, wasn't he? What are you getting at? Jackson seemed to fight a lot harder after we found him that night. Like, a lot harder. He's a growing boy, Lunas. Maybe he finally decided to start eating some damn vegetables. Or maybe that scar isn't just some normal battle wound. Ares gave him that scar? And that scar gave him the curse! And that curse gave him a reason to lie! I mean, that's some huge news to have to live with all of a sudden! He was so scared, so shocked, he couldn't say anything. And don't forget, he tried to tell us what he knew when we found him that night. Maybe that was his confession. Maybe... It's okay to be mad at the people we love, Lunas. Holding a friend accountable doesn't mean they mean any less to us. I'm scared to try Apollo. I've spent so much time with him trying to make him see how valuable he is to us. What if we push him too hard and we lose him for good? Jack's going through a tough time right now, but tragedy isn't an excuse to hurt others intentionally or not. If we just pretend nothing's wrong, we tell him he's free to do something like this again. What happens then? We drive ourselves even further apart.
I wish I knew how to describe the emotions that have been going through my head, Apollo. I'm happy, I'm angry, I'm scared, I'm confused. I'm a bit of everything recently. What am I supposed to feel? All of it. All at once. Just like you are now. So am I. So is he. We've all had to deal with some pretty powerful stuff recently. It hasn't been easy for any of us, but... How are we supposed to figure out what we need unless we vocalize our issues and work together? And when did you get so smart, genius? What do you mean? I've always been smart. You've just been too dumb to notice. <laughs> I love you, asshole. <laughs> I love you too. And it takes one to know one. Your fur will grow over some of it, but I'm afraid these are going to be visible for the rest of your life. Am I all cleared? Yes, you don't have to stay here anymore. The cuts have sealed up and won't reopen. You're free to leave. Queen Hesia? Jackson. Would you two like the room, my queen? No need, Sharp. This won't take long. As you wish. If you need me, I'll be organizing the shelves. It's a miracle that you didn't die. A wound like this would have taken any ordinary cat out. But I suppose you aren't so ordinary. Mm. No, ma'am. I owe your children my life for finding me when they did. Funny how things work out sometimes, isn't it? Ma'am? What did Sharp say about your injuries? He gave me the all clear today. The scars are permanent. Such is the cost of war. Such is the cost of war. A lesson I'm learning all too well. The first lesson of many to come, I'm afraid. Where do your loyalties lie, Jackson? With you, my queen. With the thorns. Just as they always have. Would you like to prove this? Yes, your grace. I'm willing to do whatever needs to be done. I don't ask this lightly, but you're willing to test your devotion to the thorns, so I'll allow it. This task won't be an easy one. It will be long, grueling, and dangerous. You won't be able to do it alone. I understand. What do you need me to do? Have you ever heard of the Warlock Ruins? Yes, I have. My mom used to tell me and Vivian ghost stories about it. You will need to travel there. Dusk put this together so you know where to go. Within Warlock Ruins is a sacred book. A book that will help you to learn to master your curse. It will be a several week long journey. You'll be forced to venture through the Cursed Empire lands to get to it. Once you cross the ravine, there won't be a safe zone for miles. Since you know the Cursed Empire's lands, you'll be in charge of navigating through the terrain. Lunas and Apollo will go with you. Are you sure? Are they willing to do that? I've already discussed this with them, and they both agreed. Lunas will act as your mediator if the warlock spirits try to communicate, and Apollo will be her knight. All three of you have specific jobs you must follow. I see. I'll make sure everything goes smoothly. When do we leave? You'll be summoned when the weather improves. We can waste no time. Thank you, Hesia. I promise I won't let you down. Everyone here seems to have tremendous faith in you, Jackson. Don't disappoint us. And about my children. We'll be back. I promise. She still took down a number of skilled foreign soldiers. But did she kill Hesia? No, but if I recall correctly, you couldn't even take out Hesia. That was years ago. Are you doubting my strength? I never said I was. 
I was just pointing out you gave her an impossible task to follow. We both know you were setting her up for failure. She should have finished the job, no matter what. And Jackson's job? Uh, I figured he feared me more than he cared about her. It seems I misjudged him. Besides, he never warned the royals about our attack. I still got what I wanted in the end. Even if the wrong monarch died, they're still left weaker than they were. Vivian is still missing. It's been two weeks. You should send out a search party. She could be injured or worse. She's not in the Kingdom of Thorns. Rowan? How long have you been standing there? Long enough. Then I suppose we don't have much to talk about, do we? If only that were true. Do you have a moment? Do go on. I'm ever so curious. Jackson defected. What?! He can no longer be trusted as a reliable source of information. He told the Thorns everything. He will not be returning. Well... Why didn't you poison him? Hmm? Slit his throat? Incapacitate him in any way? Too many eyes. Jackson holds a great importance to many of the Thorns. And they know how fragile he is emotionally. He's been practically surrounded since you saw him last. Ruin. Yes, my grace. Next time I ask you to do something, I expect you to do your fucking job. <clears throat> well, Ruin, this is a treat. I've never seen you grovel before. I could get used to this. <laughs> See, Vixie? <laughs> See how subjects ought to treat their king? See? See it? <laughs> as fun as this has been. I have a journal waiting on me for pivotal information that I cannot afford to keep waiting any longer. <laughs> you two be good while I'm gone, and don't make me worry anymore. <laughs> Rowan, stop! Are you all right? That's a stupid question. <laughs> I guess it is, isn't it? A medic being patched up by a warlord. Funny. <laughs> My dad and I lived on our own for a really long time. You learn a lot about natural remedies when that's all you can find. I don't do what I do for Ares. I do it for you. I beg your pardon? Ares is no longer a suitable leader. He's become of the impression that he's all-powerful. He thinks only for himself and cares not for the people he's ruling. You're different, Vixie. You are a far more worthy leader to follow. Rowan, think before you speak. You're smarter than this, Vixie. You know his reign cannot go on for much longer. I would make it quick and clean. I've heard enough. What you're suggesting is treason, a crime you well know is punishable by death. If I ever hear anything of this ever again, I'll be forced to report this whole thing directly to King Ares. You and I both know that you won't do that. The offer still stands. If you change your mind, you know where to find me.